it's Monday morning and I'm taking this bag over there to do some laundry. We've got a big week in store for you this week, so don't go anywhere. You may remember from last week's video we had a little bit of an issue with our fridge. Um, we cleaned it out and got rid of the smell, but something dodgy happened to the cooling element and a guy came and fixed it and now a week later it's not fixed. So I've got to go and talk to Jose and say, dude, we need fridge fixing. <laughs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. So here we are at the Lavenderia right next to the marinera's office. You may have noticed that it's towel washing day. So we're also throwing in all of the, um, the little dusters and cloths that we use for cleaning various parts of the boat too. Now we could stay here and watch this for another 41 minutes, but that would be totally boring. So I'm gonna head back and start writing this week's blog. Oh, and in case you're wondering about the laundry liquid, it's all automatically done with this device over here on the wall. Just a bit of an aside here, going way back to when we first started looking at buying boats and we looked at ABC, the guy who uh, was selling it has actually got his new Hansei parked in the same arena as us now and it's right over there. See that one over there, the blue one? That's the front end of his 48 foot Hansei. It's got a huge mast. Well, that's gotta be a good 40 minutes. I've just finished writing the blog. Uh, it's quite a good one this week. It's a little bit of a different style than normal. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So time to head back over to the Lavenderia, take the now washed towels out of the washing machine shove them into the dryer for one euro's worth which is 10 minutes and then seeing as it's such a beautiful day we'll let them finish drying on the rails of abc <laughs> i think someone needs to clean the uh the fluff collector out of that very fluffy it's just the two of us on board we're what's known as a short-handed crew did someone mention shorthand in which case i'm your girl to me that just looks like a spider's crawled across the page so if you know shorthand tell us what it means in the comments below because there's just the two of us on board, we're what's known as a short-handed crew. Therefore, safety is very high on our priority list. And higher up than that priority list is actually staying on the boat. And if we do go overboard, staying with the boat. Therefore, we need something that's called jack lines, tethers, and life vests. And we're gonna show you what they look like on board ABC right now. These are our personal life vests. They're a really good brand, they're Spinlock, and they are ergonomically designed, and most importantly, they self-inflate when they hit the water. They're very easy to put on, and very comfy to wear. And that's pretty much it, apart from doing it up. Good to go. Jack stays. Nice bit on one end and a loop bit on the other end. So let's attach these to the side deck of the boat. The looped end of the jack stay will 
attached to the forward cleat of the bow. Of course you wouldn't use a jack stay while we're tied up to a berth like we are, so normally the cleat will be free and clear of any mooring lines. Now the manufacturer recommends attaching this to this D-ring here. It's pretty much near the back end of the boat. However, we've just been having a chat with our vastly more experienced than us neighbor. And he says, well, ideally you want it as far back on the boat as possible. So we're gonna try and find a place at the back of the boat where we can attach this. Uh, one option is to attach it to the aft cleat here. Another option we've got is to attach it to the base of our brand new davit, which I know has got a huge backing plate on it. We have a third option on the back end of this boat. There's a mounting plate that's being unused, which was originally put there for the outboard engine davit. So all in all, I'm happy with the way this jack stay is attached on the port side and we'll reproduce something very similar on the starboard side. I think what we'll do there is we'll attach the aft end of the jack stay onto the base of the stainless steel davit and that should do the job for us. Step one, wear a life vest. Step two, put jack stays on either side of the boat. And step three, attached to a jack stay with a harness that's attached to your life vest. So attach the harness to the life vest at this point. And then attach either the short end or the long end to the jack stay. Step three, attaching to the jack stay. So all things being equal between the life jackets, the jack stays and the safety harnesses, we should be pretty much attached to ABC for a good long while to come. I can't believe I've actually had this item in my possession for a month and I haven't had the time to open it. I've had a lot of will to open it, but certainly not enough time. What I'm talking about is the DJI Mavic Pro drone that we bought. And this little beauty is gonna make uh, some fantastic aerial shots for us and um, really enhance our videos to another level, I think. I actually bought the DJI uh, Fly More combo which basically gives you a lot more batteries and a few little nice uh, accessories. But the batteries are the important thing in my opinion. You can never have too many batteries. So we'll open up the box and see what's inside. Sliding the cover off, we just met with a plain black box. And uh, when you open it up, it's all nice and packed up inside. Here we've got the bag that you get when um, you buy the Fly More combo. And uh, this bag is big enough to carry the drone, extra propellers and the controller and everything else you need to get flying. And it really is that small. So apart from that being in the box, there is of course the drone itself. This is what the drone looks like when it's first unpacked. Uh, no propellers on these arms. These arms fold out like so. And then the two arms underneath fold out in this manner ones underneath do have the props already attached so that's not too bad. I did mention that the Fly More combo comes with extra batteries. We've got one battery that's already uh, fitted onto the uh, drone itself. A quick easy release, two little buttons on either side here and here and you just squeeze those buttons in and it releases the battery. Um, putting the battery in is exact opposite of what you've just done. Make sure you've got the contact ends to the contact ends. It is shaped so you can't get it wrong. Of course, a drone is just a drone unless, of course, it's got something special and the Mavic Pro has got a 4K camera built into it. So that's here at the front end, a little rubber protective cover on it and also a plastic protective cover. Also included inside the black box as you dig deeper are two extra uh, smart batteries. So now let's take a look at what's inside the bag itself. Inside here are the various cables you're going to need for charging the batteries and also for charging the uh, remote control handset. You get your standard connection uh, power brick, 
which leads to a specific shape and size connector and that connector connects into the underneath of this little charger here. And the great thing about this charger is a multi-charger and you can charge up to four smart batteries at one time. Also, if you're out and about in your car and you need to recharge one of your smart batteries, they supply a cigarette lighter 12 volt socket connection, um, which leads to the power brick, which leads to the connection. And that also will go into the back of that four battery charger block that uh, I showed you previously. Then we have the controller. The controller does have a little uh, screen on it which will give you basic data, uh, height and speed and battery life that's left and all that sort of stuff. Again, I haven't fully read the instructions, this is just going off research. Um, but you can also open up these little arms below and in there you can place uh, a small phone or a small tablet. Um, there are various extensions you can get for, for adding on to this to put really big tablets on but for me I think the weight of one of those tablets while you're trying to hold this and control the aircraft at the same time might be a little bit too much but you know it's again it's a personal preference. And finally in the bag when you undo this front zipper you get to a little place where you can store your blades. So after being a very patient boy for a month, it's time to fit the props onto here and take this out for a little bit of a spin. A quick update on my hand injury. Here's how the accident happened. Here's what the injury looked like on the day. Here's what my hand looked like two days later. And now three and a half weeks on, this is what it looks like. I think I'm a very fortunate and lucky person. So, lesson learned. Our fridge had issues. One random Monday night we found ourselves cleaning it out because there was a really bad fishy smell coming from somewhere in there. We got rid of the smell, we got rid of the cause of the smell and we thought everything was fine and then a couple of days later the element died on us. Well we've had that fixed now and the fridge is fabulous, it's like a new one and everything is just cool and fabulous. Especially the beer. <laughs> and the wine. <laughs> no, we're not alcoholics. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode of Sailing ABC. Next week we have an extra 48 metres of road added to the end of our anchor chain. And we also have our naming ceremony for ABC. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, should be good. Yeah. So don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. Yep. Subscribe down below. Yep. And leave your comments down below too. Yeah, and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of updates. Is it time for a beer now? Wine.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> 